Hello everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Last time we took care of Enchanted Towers, and in this episode we're going to head to Spooky Swamp. I'm so scared, ew, ew, ew. Alright, so Spooky Swamp. This level used to scare the crap out of me as a kid, mainly because of the water. Um, I don't know if you can see this, or maybe... Well, okay, right there, right there. There's a piranha thing. And, uh, yeah. So you can't go in the water, or you will get hurt. Possibly die. I don't... I don't remember if, uh, it's an instant kill if you're in the water. I don't think it is, but, again, it's been a few years since I've played this level, so... I might be a little bit rusty, but there's something interesting. That gator was mean. I thought I was a goner. Thanks for saving me. So... Oh god. Uh, everyone in this level... Uh, speaks in haiku. Which is like, five syllables, seven syllables, and then five syllables again. Um, which... Is a little bit odd. But, uh, whatever. What it... I'd, what I'd like to see is, like, just somebody, like, make an LP of this video. I mean, not video, but, like, level. And, like, speak only in haiku. That'd be, like, freaking possible. I mean, you'd have to post-commentate that, I would think. But, uh, that would just... That would be something to see. Right. Get, oh, oh, my God. See, my headset's huge. And the pop filter's kind of close to me, so if that, like, if it, like, bumps into it, you'll, you'll know. Um, I apologize for it, but there's really nothing much I can do. Uh, I suppose I could take off the headset, but why do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not using a headset for the, uh, audio. I'm using it so I can listen to the game. Uh, so... Yeah, so we get a swag, I'm in the bag. Not really, but uh, we also have to light up these candles, um, which the guy didn't really explain, but we need to do this, so YOLO again. I'm trying to, like, make sure I get the audio. I mean, not, not what am I trying to say? I'm trying to make sure I can at least get a decently um, well-sounding recording out of this. But, like, the problem is, even if I scoot away from my mic just a little bit, it might make it harder to hear, so I apologize. And we have gotten our first egg of the level, Michael. Alright, I'm sorry about that. Had a random sneeze, and then got interrupted. Oh well. Alright. Ah, get away. Get out of here. Yeah. So, alright. Let's keep on going. We still have a decent amount of backtracking to do again. But not too much. Just considering it's basically just a key. And I see another egg up there. YOLO. Ah, no. You will not get me. So you want to make sure you're destroying these signs. I forgot to mention that. Because the signs are a skill point in this level, so... Yeah. Should sure you do that. And I'm sorry if the game's a little bit laggy. Because... I don't know, there's a lot going on in the level, so... It doesn't surprise me that this is happening. But I'm not happy about it. And destroy that one. And we got more of these guys. Ah, oh, it's that scumbag money bag. So boy. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. <laughs> is it like required to just to speak in this level? Because it, I, I know it said like pay, it, just take. It said something and shut up. So, ow. Oh, screw you, dude. Okay. Okay. Where's that little lobster thing? Whoa. 
Oh god. See, this water just looks weird. Like, it's not- it's not even flowing from that little section up there. It's- I don't know. I'm nitpicky. Whatever. Urgh. Yeah. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I, by far. Here, take this darn egg. Thelonious. That's quite a name you got there. Alright, so we've done the requirement for the level, but I'm not done yet. Are you kidding me? And we've opened that door by opening the lamps. So that's this part's actually not required. Well, not required to beat the game, but it is for 100%. So, yeah. Alright. Oh, God. Um, let's see. I think I could probably make all three of them. But... I don't know. And I I will. Sweet. Whee! And we rescued Frank. That's always nice. Whoa. That that was some that was wiggity whack, yo. Alright. Let's just continue on. Do you have anything else to say, scumbag? I just wanna see. Stop talking to me. I hate speaking in haiku. Just go find some gems. <laughs> Whatever. I don't like talking to you anyway, but just because everything's in haiku, I felt I had to. And that's a skill point, like I said. And here we go. Now, we have two other sections we have to do. A Sheila level and this level, which this guy will explain. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. A creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light he has awoken. He swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. Better you than me. So, we have to use this guy's bombs against him, uh, which will make a little more sense once we get to it. Oh boy. Hello. What's up? Oh, you're kind of pissy today, aren't you? Okay, do I have to, like, charge these? Yeah. Not that hard of a level, to be perfectly honest with you. He will do this, though, which are basically just these little gators. Not gonna do too much to you. And another bomb. Alright. Two more to go. He might actually add in a little something-something here eventually. Uh, it's hard to say. And yet another bomb. Here we go. Alright, one more hit! See this boss? This is just kind of a mini boss. Just. And he doesn't really do much. I mean, look at that. We're already done. <sighs> Easy peasy lemon squeezer. And we've rescued Herbie. Are you fully loaded? I guess you are. Uh. There we go. So you exit the level automatically, apparently. Um, but yeah, so we still have that key, which is great, but let's head into the Sheila level first. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. <laughs> okay, so let's just uh, collect some gems first, delaying the inevitable. Oh god, this level... This section, I should say, brings back terrible memories. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage, but we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the pass for us. Will Sheila help us? Yes. Whatever. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. So, this level... What makes this annoying is that you got these bozos here who like to run into crap. I don't know how they run into half of the stuff, considering there's a just an easy path to take, but... Nope! Example right there! <sighs> it's so st- Ow! I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come. 
Oh gosh. Let's see. I I hate this part. I think a lot of people do, to be quite honest. Um, granted, I think now I could probably just stay close to the path. But you can't go too far ahead, actually. Because if you do that, it'll penalize you by kind of making the things respawn. Uh, you know, go back up, I should say. Or the rocks would reappear. Something of the sort. Uh, let's destroy this rock. Should be about halfway there. There's just no telling which way he's gonna go. Oh god, no! Make up your mind, dude. Are you like... What the... That's stupid! Ow. Shut up. I'll just cut to where I was. Save some time. Alright, I'm back. Destroy that rock. Just gonna stay on this. Alright, there we go. Getting somewhere now. Okay, which way are you going? Okay, that way. Destroying that because I, there's no telling what he's gonna do. And this ought to do it for the first round. Maybe. Please? Thank you. Alright. And we've rescued Peggy from King of the Hill. She sells propane and propane accessories. In this case, glasses and glasses accessories. One egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to freeze the last egg? I guess I have to. If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's bombing time. Oh my gosh. Now, does this guy take a separate path? Or is he just like completely stupid? Okay, um... Okay, make up your damn mind. Oh my god. Where are you going? Crazy son of a... Oh god, why are you going that way? What is over there? Why? Why go that way? Ow. This is why I hate this level. Are they, are they blind? Oh my god, finally. I'm sorry I forgot to speak because this level is pissing me off so much, but uh, there we go. It. I hate this level, this part, but thank god I'm done. The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. I don't care. Okay, so we got a lot of gems to find in this level. Well, this section, I should say. I mean, wow, a ton of them. Um, let's see, I missed uh, one over here. Alright, I have no idea how many I'm at, but I don't care at this point. Um, is that a breakable wall up there? I know there is a breakable wall at some point in this section. I guess that part isn't. Well, whatever. Um, let's just continue uh, over here. I, yeah, here's one of them. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed. Alright, let's just break all these first. And wee -ha! Oh yeah, doggy. Alright. Alright. Where's the rest of the gems? Down here. Let's get them. Um, la 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 la. Alright. Oh god. Okay. And down here, we got some more. Oh, did something just appear out of that rock? It did! That's... that's pretty cray. Just saying. And up here, another breakable wall. Great, now I need to check all of these. Did one appear, or was it just right next to it? No, that'd be pretty stupid if it was like... You had to break that part. 
whatever. I guess I'll find out once I get to the, um, what's it called? Oh, God. Ha oh, that's right. I completely forgot about that. Okay, there's like a section of wall that we have to break to back over here. Uh, so I'll just take care of that really quickly. Uh, where is it, though? Where is it? This one? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was going to say, that'd be pretty annoying to get to, like, because that's that would be easily missable. At least in my mind, it would. Because uh, I almost did miss it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess... Oh, there's still a little bit to do up here. And we... Okay. But, yeah. Now we ought to be done with this section and all we really have left to do is use a key yay so oh no oh god so now you can see this death animation ah ha ha oh god oh, oh. no <laughs> oh my god that that was so stupid Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's what that section's for. Um, this may or may not be the quickest way to the treasure chest, but I don't really care. Just because we're at the end of the level as it is, so... Yeah, but it's right over here, so I guess it is. Alright, let's use the key. Whee! And it looks like that's the end of it. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Well... That's... That's a thing. Um... Well... It's either in this part of the level... Or... It's in... The stupid Sheila section, which... That wouldn't surprise me if that's where it is. Uh, so I'll just meet you guys when I find it, if I do find it. Um, this makes me wish I had done the second Sparks level. And if you know the reward for that, you would understand why. Um, oh my god. So I'll meet you guys once I find it. If I can. I found it! Woo! Alright, so this level's done. Thank god. And I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, well, I have to exit the area as it is. But, uh, let's just head through the portal. YOLO. Okay, so luckily I was able to find it pretty quickly. But, uh, it certainly could have been worse. So, I'm happy. And we only have one more level to go to. And that is, um... What's the level called? Uh, Orient Ex No, that's a, that's a crash level. The, next, the next level we have to go to is Bamboo Terrace and Country Speedway. So, yeah, that'll happen in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.